Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to Human Nutrition here at Chaminade University. When you first log into your course, you're going to see this as your home page, your home screen. And the first thing I'd like you to do is go down to that course syllabus and hit download. I did that in advance, so we don't have to waste some time here. But once you do that, you're going to see that you get this file here, which is going to tell you everything that you need to know about the class. I'm going to draw your attention here to the course breakdown, which breaks down all of the different assignments, including the quizzes. There's a quiz for every single chapter. The exams, there's four exams, or approximately every four chapters. And then we're also going to have a micronutrient presentation. The micronutrient presentation is going to be something that you'll be working on on your own. You'll pick a micronutrient, then you'll write up a short outline about what you intend to present about that micronutrient, and then you will create a PowerPoint presentation, which you will then present and record and then upload to YouTube which will be your final presentation. So the final micronutrient presentation will be a YouTube link that will take me to the video of you presenting this as though you were presenting it in class. Um, throughout the semester you'll be doing a My Diet analysis as well. The My Diet analysis is going to be worth 50 points. Basically for two weeks time you'll be tracking every single thing that you eat and entering into the My Diet Analysis program. And then it will tell you exactly what your breakdown is of each of the different macronutrients. And then you'll use an, uh, that information to create a short two-page or so essay to discuss your micronutrient balance within your diet and how you can adjust your diet to become more um, healthy and nutritious. Uh, not that you have to do that, but you do have to write the essay about what you would do if you were going to do that. <laughs> um, additionally, there are three homework assignments throughout the, um, throughout the course. Each of them are going to be a summary of a journal article, so you'll be given a journal article, expected to read that article, and then to go over that article in a summary about two pages each. And again, that'll be 15 points each, total of 45 points. At the very end, you're going to have a fairly short research essay where you're going to do a, um, a quick delve yourself into different eating disorders. Um, so you'll pick an eating disorder. There's um, quite a few out there, actually. You'll pick an eating disorder and then do a short brief research essay on the background information about that eating disorder, how that eating disorder affects individuals, and how to overcome that eating disorder, etc. Um, and last but not least, there's a short community of practice. I'm sure you're familiar with this with some of your other flex and online learning classes, but basically this is going to be um, class participation. So you're just going to type up a short little community of practice assignment um, that'll be going on to the major community of practice webpage. Right? Um, and then for that, in order to submit that, you'll take a screenshot of that and submit that as a JPEG. All right, so that's going to be a total of 600 points for the semester, which will give you the 100% completion. Um, and so I'm going to take you back to some web pages that I'm going to be expecting you to be utilizing throughout the semester. So again, that's the syllabus. You can find the syllabus right here under course syllabus on your homepage. But I'm going to move on to the learning modules. So each of these learning modules, now for me, I can see them all, but you're going to be working through them one step at a time. But each module is going to encompass two chapters. So module one has chapters unit one and unit two and every other module will also include an exam so if you look at module two for example we've got units three and four and then we'll have exam one which will include units one through four additionally throughout here we're going to have scattered some of the steps that you'll need for the nutrient presentation or for the my diet analysis so as you're working through we want you to kind of keep in mind that some of the larger things like the micronutrient presentation and the my diet analysis are going to take a little bit longer and will span several modules Right? So this is where you're going to find your step-by-step -step instructions. You'll actually be clicking through each one of these and it'll send you through the to-do list for each one of the modules. So don't worry, you can just work through this step-by-step. All right, so that's going to bring me to the very third and last thing that I'd like you guys to look at. This is going to be for the laboratory. Remember, the laboratory is going to be concurrent with this, um, with the course, so you're going to have to make sure you take them both together. But for the laboratory portion, we're going to switch over to a program called Top Hat. So this is a Top Hat platform. This is the laboratory, BI131L. The join code is up here at the top, 405483. Now, I do want to caution you right now if you're watching this video, please double check that this is the join code because these join codes will be changing throughout the semester. So if I don't update this video, make sure that you double check that your join code is correct for the portion, um, the semester that you're signing up for. Okay. Um, so anyway, it's going to take you right here to all of these different lab sections. So the first lab section is going to be for understanding the scientific method, for example, and then we'll work through this one is microscopes. 
Um, this one is going to be animal tissues. This is cells and cell structures. So each one of these will be different. Now I do want to tell you that not all of them, even though they are aligned as chapter 9, chapter 7, for example, um, some of them are going to be a little bit um, altered because, uh, for example, I may have taken them from somewhere else. So they don't all, although they start off as it looks like I've lined most of them. My point is that, for example, here, so this one says chapter 4, but it's actually chapter 36 in the way that they aligned it. Don't worry. Just work through it as though it's chapter 4. So even though it says 36.1, don't let that throw you off. Just make sure that you're working underneath the headings and working your way through all 10 of these labs. When you have finished them all, it'll appear in the grade book as though you're finished. I guess you can't see anyone in here because we don't have any grades yet, um, but it'll appear in the grade book for each one of those sections so you'll know exactly where you stand. And once you've finished all 10 of those sections, then you are finished finish with the lab portion. All right. So that is going to wrap up my little short welcome video. If you guys have any questions on anything at all, you are welcome to email me, um, genevieve.griffiths at shamana.edu. Don't worry, that's in the syllabus as well. Um, but you can reach out at any point if you have any questions throughout the semester. All right. So thank you so very much for your time today and good luck and happy studying.